Hey everyone, welcome to this first devlog of my first attempt at making a video game. What I'll be making is a game similar to the game Batsugun from the early 90s, a top-down, scrolling, bullet hell style game. My goals for this project are mostly to learn and to get a feel for game development, how marketing and releasing a game is done, and to of course have fun and make something I'm proud of. I have created a few small simple games a long time ago back when I was in high school using the original Game Maker program. As I didn't know anything about programming then, and Game Maker had a plug and play visual style of game development where you didn't need to know any code to create a fun game. It probably still has that now, but I haven't touched it in over 10 years. I'll be using Unity to create this game, as it's the engine I've had the most experience with now, with all the different tutorials and such I've done in months past. With that out the way, let's get started with some development. So what I've done so far is create a basic ship with a free asset I found on the Unity store. I created the movement for the ship, which involves also creating the boundary box so the ship can't fly out of the view here. I also offset the boundary from the top of the screen so I can later add some UI up there without blocking the view of the player. I also created a simple shooting mechanic using an object pool for all the bullets to spawn from. If you're curious about what an object pool is, I'd recommend looking at Bracky's tutorial about object pools. It's a few years old, but the content is still useful. Lastly, as you can see, just for some flair, I added a little wiggle to the tail that oscillates between two images, so it looks like the jet is actually flying. That was the end of the first day of development. Unfortunately, my brain likes to get obsessive with ideas, so trying to sleep that night was not happening. I decided around 3 a.m. to get out of bed and create some art assets on my iPad using the app Pic Pic Pixaki? Pixaki. Pixaki. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce it. Um, well, in my delirium of sleep, I forgot to record the screen, so all I got was this janky time lapse in the middle of the night. So let me try to explain. I wanted to create some power ups for the player that will drop when an enemy is killed. Some of the classic ones you'll find in this style of game are a damage increase, more bullets fired at once, the speed at which you fire, and the bullets spreading out like a fan. Here's what you can kinda see me designing. I was initially going to do a sword for damage, but decided that didn't fit with the idea of a spaceship, so I transitioned to a fire to indicate damage. Similarly, I tried to design a bullet to show more bullets being fired, but that didn't really go well either. So I decided to stick to the sort of fireball idea for all the icons for the power-ups. So a fire represents damage, a big fireball represents more bullets, a row of fireballs to indicate speed, and a spread of fireballs to indicate spread, obviously. Uh, let me show you the final product. Yeah, crap, I designed those way too tiny. Increasing the size just makes it blurry. Okay, one moment. Okay, I figured out in Pixaki you can export at a greater magnification, so my 16 by 16 pixel art can be exported as a 128 by 128 pixels art. Much better. So as you can see, when you pick up a damage power up, the bullet changes to show a more powerful bullet. Up to five additional levels of power I added. Same for the number of bullets fired, up to five bullets max. And the tricky one here was the spread of the bullets. Because it wasn't just as simple as, if bullet spread is level two, spread out the bullets. Because what do I do when you're only firing one bullet? You can't really spread out one bullet. And how the spread looks will vary a lot depending on whether you're firing two bullets at once or five bullets. I'm not gonna go into it right now because even I had to rack my brain pretty hard to understand how I made this work. But here's a screenshot of the function that's getting all the appropriate angles depending on your level of spread and the number of bullets being fired. So if you want to pause the video and analyze it that way, you're more than welcome to. But I don't think I would do a good enough job of explaining it if I tried. So I'm just going to leave it at that and let you know that it does work as expected. So after that head scratcher, I decided that was a good place to stop for day two of programming. Day three here in Cleveland, Ohio. Things are looking uh, snowy outside. We're still in the middle of February. Winter is still here. 
and it's definitely getting to that point where I'm getting some cabin fever and just want this winter to be over with. But for now, let's just keep plugging forward. So my goals for today are to one, get a basic enemy in the game that can shoot at the player, which also means that I need to establish some health for enemies and for the player as well. And number two, if time permits, I would also love to get a scorekeeping system in the game as well, but we'll see how the day goes. Eventually, I'm going to want to have different enemies that shoot different types of bullet at the player that cause different damage, and that have different scores associated with them when killed, but for now, we'll just keep it simple with one type of enemy shooting the same type of bullet as the player. Okay, here's where we were able to get to. I have a simple UI that shows a score, some enemies that can shoot at the player, the player can shoot and kill the enemies, and the enemies can kill the player. I think that's where I'll call it for this devlog, but as you can see, we have plenty to do going forward, from boss fights to level design and onwards. If you have any ideas for things that might go well in the game, let me know. I'm not sure what kind of cadence I'll be able to make these devlogs, as I currently have a full-time job I do as well, so I have to develop this in my off times, and a life with a puppy can get a bit distracting to say the least. But I do hope to have the next one out sooner rather than later. I'm definitely in a point in my life where I'm trying to be a bit more disciplined about seeing things through, rather than just following the dopamine like I've been doing the majority of my life. So I look forward to continuing this journey, and I hope you'll stick with me for the ride. If you do want updates, make sure to like, follow, hit the bell icon, you know all the things to do by now. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at the TheDemiBloke. Uh, it's still a new account of mine, so I'll try to make sure I post updates as I am able. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.